<clears throat> Hello guys, today we're gonna do a new deck profile on, oh well, updated deck profile on this deck called Zephra. I've been enjoying this deck a lot. I got first place in locals recently with this. So let's get into it. So first off, I run two Ghost Ogre. Um, three Ash Blossoms. Because this legit stops like anything. Almost. Like this usually um, counter my win sometimes. And a Ghost Ogre just because it's Ghost Ogres. And then I run the Spree King engine. I run one Dark Worm, one Destrudo, one Gate Zero. Now, if you're questioning why I'm running one of each, it's because like I don't want to draw multiple Dark Worms or multiple Destrudo or multiple to Gate Zero. And then for monster, um, for my Hashograph lineup, I run three Chronograph and three Astrographs because it's nice to see it. And also like Chronograph combos with Astrograph, and you can you make you get to make a uh, free Astrograph. No, free is extra, right? Then I run two Zeph Proxy. Now in my last one, I said I run three. I ran three on two now because it's so much easier to do now. And I run three um, Zeph Rainu because this thing is like the searcher of the deck. And if you don't have this, there's something wrong with you. And also he's fun to use. And then we run one Zeph, like Shadow Zephyr Core. This card is the reason why Electrum was so easy to make because he can just take a scale out and he can place on it. And I run three Zephraf because Zephraf is like the the boy sometimes because like it's nice to see it and he places your scale and someone tried to ash me with this effect and it was pretty amazing to see that happen and it doesn't do anything. And I run a new card called um, Zephroxa. What this card does is if um, a Zephra monster would be destroyed, or um, like say um, a Necros monster would be destroyed, he just comes out of my hand or graveyard. And he's also level five, so level five synchro play. This happens, and I can do more. I can do Electrum too. And then for the Stellar Knights thing, I run Zephyr Bond and Zephyr. So, you know, Zephraxion. This thing, these two saved my ass because this thing gets rid of anti spell, this gets rid of Tornado Tribute. Oh. And then for my Ritual Beast lineup, I run my Wendy and my Pelica. Pelica is the reason why I survive sometimes because Pelica would special something back or Wendy would give me something from my hand. And it's also e Tele targets, so it's pretty nice to have. And then for the one of now everyone's gonna question what I'm playing. I'm playing Wind Dragon Rock. I get spear moded a whole lot in uh, other locals I go to. This card legit saved me because um I contribute to spear mode and summon raw for four thousand attack. So and you pay a thousand and blow up something. Now we go to the spell lineup. We run three Oracle of Zephra. Um because we it's a fucking amazing field spell. And then we run three terraforming because we need to field spell as soon as possible. E Tully, Foolish Burial. Because I took out the Dragon Shrine thinking over thinking it about it, I took yeah, you know, Foolish Burial is better. And then Zephyr Providence, because Zephyr Providence is good. And it searches everything for you. And then I run one Zephyr War. And then three Zephyr Divine Strike. And one Nine Pillars. And for the extra deck, I run Charge Warrior for the stupid combo, Metaphys Horus for stealing stuff, um, Yazi, Black Rose, Ignister, Omega, Xiao Feng, Autoize Vor Vortex, since I found a combo with this, and Supreme King, um, Starving Venom, Autoize Absolute, two Electrum finally came in the mail, one's for Metatron, um, Supreme, um, what's it called, Saruja, and Borlord. And I would like to thank uh, a person named Yoon to make my amazing fail centers. Like, don't they look pretty? Oh my fucking god, my hands. My hands. 
And then I will think on Deja Vu because he made this token for me and it's pretty nice to look at. And for my side deck, I run 1 Lullaby of Obedience, 2 Hatronade, 1 Raw Spear Mode, 1 Chaos Sword, 1 Chaos Hunter, Gamma Engine, and then 3 Call by the Grace. Well, that was the updated deck, guys. If you guys liked it, please give me a like and, uh, and subscribe. And next deck, I think I'm gonna do Cubics, maybe, if my friend decides to do something with them. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.